Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about tech backpacks and the bag we're going to be taking a look at is the Lenovo Passage Backpack which is made for 17 inch laptops. And so throughout the years I've used a lot of Lenovo products, uh, primarily electronics, so laptops and things like that, uh, but I wasn't familiar that they actually had backpacks. And so Lenovo reached out to me to see if I wanted to check out the Passage backpack and just share my thoughts. And I have to say I was super impressed with all the different features that the bag has to offer. Um, it's a really sleek bag. It has a ton of really unique features and um, it's a really good price. And so I really want to thank Lenovo for sending over the Passage backpack to check out. And I'm really excited to just kind of talk about all the different features that this bag has to offer and how it compares to a lot of the other bags that were reviewed. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Lenovo Passage backpack. So starting out with the outside of the bag, I have to say I really love the overall look of the bag. It's, it definitely looks like a tech bag, but it's not very big. It holds a ton of stuff, but it manages to look slim while you're wearing it. So in that regard, it really reminds me of the Timbuktu Authority Pack and the Incase Icon Slim that we reviewed on the channel in the past. Um, it has a really neat kind of grayish black color. Uh, you know, that's definitely a color that I love for backpacks, especially these kind of tech bags. The bag itself is made out of this really kind of durable material. All the zippers have kind of a weatherproof sealing to help keep water out. It's not waterproof, I would think, but it definitely helps keep water out while you're just experiencing some light rain or while you get under cover of something. The bottom of the bag has this more durable kind of material here. It seems to be more like a tarpaulin or more kind of water, plasticky water resistant type material. So it's really nice that, you know, you feel comfortable putting the bag down on the ground and it's, you know, it's gonna definitely be a little bit more durable than like a cloth. Um, or like a polyester material might be and it, it definitely feels it's gonna like it's gonna help keep water out of the bag um, From the bottom so I really like kind of this the accent that it has here on the bottom And in addition it just helps to add a little bit of extra styling to the bag so that it doesn't all look like this one material So you can see that same kind of leather uh, fall leather or tarpaulin material here coming around the sides of the bottom of the bag to just kind of give it a little bit more of an accent and also as I mentioned just it seems a little bit more durable for the bottom of the bag to help keep um, the bag from kind of tearing up. As with all the daily and tech bags that we've reviewed in the past I'm very happy to see that this has a water bottle pocket. Um, it has a really kind of elasticy, meshy uh, type pocket that you can use not just for water bottles but maybe for a tripod or a longer umbrella. So I have the water bottle that I've had in all my other videos here and as you can see it's just a very simple kind of mesh pocket. It stretches out nicely so you can't put too thick of a water bottle in here but uh, you know for a normal everyday we use water bottle that's not like a 30 liter gym person's water bottle it should fit here nicely uh, I also like that the bag has compression straps on both sides so if you're using this water bottle pocket to hold something taller like a tripod or an umbrella it's nice that you can just loosen this up tie it in and then you can even use this maybe for a jacket or something like that so I really love when the bags have these compression straps it just adds a lot of versatility to each of the sides of the bag and then as I mentioned, it has compression straps on both sides. So here's the other one. Um, and something that this bag has that uh, a lot of the bags that I've reviewed from Amazon have been having recently, and a lot of the budget bags specifically, is kind of this um, USB port on the outside that connects to an internal battery. So if you wanna be able to just plug in a cable and charge in your phone, this bag has a port for that. Below the port, they actually have this pocket here which zips up very nicely. It has a nice water resistant ceiling. So as I mentioned, all the zippers kind of have a little bit of that extra protection against water. And so this pocket opens up and here would be where you would be able to store an external battery that would connect to this port to allow you to charge your phone, you know, without having to take anything out of the bag or so you could put the phone in your pocket and have it charge while it's connected to the backpack. And so this, this is a pretty spacious pocket. As you can see here, I can fit my hand completely. It has this kind of guard here so that you could use this to hold stuff as opposed to just using it for a battery. You can probably put um, you know, a mouse in here or maybe even use this as a second water bottle pocket that you could strap in with the compression strap here. But primarily I think it's gonna be used for external batteries. So I actually have two in here just because I have a little bit of extra space. So here I just have one portable battery that I'm keeping there for backup. And then of course I have the main battery that I have plugged up to the USB that's included with the backpack. So in this pocket, this USB cable is included, you know, it's just a regular USB. You plug it into the battery and then you could store it all here. And then this cable, as I mentioned, is connected to this port. So it's really nice that 
it just kind of keeps all the cables organized. I hate when a lot of these type of backpacks have the cable on the inside and it's just kind of floating around in the main compartment. This bag offers a lot of cable management, so it's really nice that you know you, you can just access the cable from this outer pocket and it's actually kind of put through the bag on the inside so it doesn't catch on anything in the main compartment and then it's just very easily accessible to the USB port here. So really love kind of how they've managed all the cables here. In addition to that, there is a little pocket on the inside of here that allows you to put in another cable if you so wanted. So if you wanted to put, if you had an external battery on the inside and you wanted the cable to come out to this pocket, if you wanted to put your phone inside the pocket, that could work as well. So there's a lot of different ways that you could manage the cables using all the different kind of entry points in the different pockets. Um, but overall, it's just really nice. A lot of people seem to really like these ports on the outside of the backpack now. So uh, I personally don't use it that much, but if it's something that you care about, it's definitely included here and it works really well. Continuing on with the outer appearance of the bag, on the top it just has the one handle which is really sturdy it's very comfortable to hold so if you're putting the bag down on the ground or you're even hanging it from a hook or something it feels really sturdy and like it's gonna hold up for a while as I mentioned the size of the bag is really nice I love how it manages to hold a ton of stuff but it doesn't ever get too bulky and so to deal with kind of that extra capacity and to help manage some of that weight Lenovo has included some really padded and comfortable straps the straps are a nice width. They're not too thin and not too wide. They're really soft and very comfortable to wear. Um, I've been wearing this to work for the past couple of weeks and I honestly, you know, it's been really comfortable. I haven't felt any fatigue. I really like how comfortable these are. And I really like the back paneling. The back is super padded. So the back has this really cushioned padding here, which is really nice. And it's also really elevated to allow air to flow um, very easily to prevent moisture from building up on your back. So, so far, this has been super comfortable to wear. The only thing I noticed about the straps is first of all, there's no sternum strap included. So I don't use the sternum strap that much on a bag this size, uh, but a lot of bags that are similar um, in this category will include the sternum strap a lot of the time. So the Timbuktu bags usually come with the sternum straps. And um, I've seen it on a lot of other type bags, like maybe some of the Swiss gear bags as well, um, just to add a little bit more of that support if you're carrying a lot of stuff. So um, some people might miss that sternum strap. I personally kind of like the cleaner look of, of the bag and the straps without the sternum strap, but it is something to note if that's something you're used to seeing on a bag like this. The only other thing I would like to note is that even though the straps are really comfortable and the bag has been super comfortable to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, these do feel a little bit thinner than something like you would find on like a Thule bag or, or a Swiss gear bag. You know, it has those kind of really bulky, thick straps. So these are a little bit thinner. To me, it seems like they're gonna hold up pretty well, but, um, but it's just something worth mentioning with regards to other bags in this type of category. Another cool feature on the back of this bag is kind of this hidden pocket that it has here on the back. I've started to see these with a lot of bags that it, people have been promoting recently. Uh, this seems to be a really popular feature, just kind of this hidden pocket along the back side of the bag to just add a little bit of security for something more sensitive that you might be carrying. So, you know, this is a great pocket for keeping a little bit of extra cash, uh, maybe a passport. You could even throw your phone in here or a notebook. Um, I've tried to kind of put in a bunch of different items just to, you know, this is a really big pocket, uh, much bigger than a lot of the other pockets of this type that I've seen. Um, but due to the placement, I guess you're gonna have to be careful with what you put in. So since this is on your lower back, if you put something a little too big, it, it might be uncomfortable to wear the bag for a long period of time. Um, but it's a really big pocket. I was actually able to fit my iPad mini 2 in here very comfortably. I wouldn't wear that, I wouldn't keep the iPad there on a, on a regular basis, but I would maybe put my phone in here, maybe my wallet, or as I mentioned, even my passport if I was traveling for business or just traveling internationally. But overall, this pocket is really great for holding anything that's a little bit more delicate or that you're worried that might get stolen. So as I mentioned, some cash, a phone, uh, your passport, it, since this sits right on the small of your back, it's gonna be really secure and nobody's gonna be able to get at it. So really nice to have this kind of extra feature included. Moving on to the pockets of the bag, one of my favorite things about this bag is not just how many pockets it has, but how useful they are. I really love that the pockets themselves are really well thought out. You can use each one without it kind of interfering with how the other ones are used, which is sometimes a little bit frustrating when bags have a lot of pockets on top of pockets and it's a slim bag, it becomes very difficult to use all of them. Um, but everything is kind of really well laid out here. So let's just start off with this small quick access pocket on the front. Um, this is nothing too crazy about this pocket. It's really kind of just quick access. You can probably put a phone in here. Um, if you're going through TSA, this is probably where I would throw my wallet and my phone. So right now, I just have some kind of smaller accessories that I access a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have my Apple Magic mouse here, and then I also have just a phone charger. 
And um, as you can see here, it's not a huge pocket, but it's really nicely, um, it's just enough to hold most of the things that you would need to access quickly. I could probably put my sunglasses in here as well. Um, as you can see, I could almost fit my hand. And so just a really great pocket overall to use for anything you need to grab quickly. Moving on to the next pocket, this is another pocket that has a lot of organizational options. I really like that the pockets on this bag zip down really low, so it allows you to open it up and really see what's inside the pocket. So as you can see here, this pocket has kind of these guards here to help you open the bag wider, but it prevents the flap from falling all the way down and letting anything fall out accidentally. So I really like when bags have this feature so that you can really see into the bottom of the pocket. As you can see, it's a pretty deep pocket. It goes just to the top of where that smaller pocket ends, so they don't end up sharing any space. And um, But it's still really deep. You can put a lot of stuff in this pocket. And so at the moment, what I have in here is just my Ray-Ban sunglasses. And then I also carry a Windows mouse, which is a little bit bigger sometimes. If I get a little bit uncomfortable using the Apple mouse, I like to switch back and forth. And then on the inside, on the bottom of this pocket, there's a small zippered mesh pocket that's good for smaller accessories. So what I have here is just a contacts case in case uh, my contacts ever get uncomfortable and I want to take them off. And then I also have my fidget spinner in there. And so that's just really nice that you can use that to kind of keep anything small that you want to be able to find. Um, and it's nice that it's also a mesh pocket so you can actually see what's inside of the bag. And then on the other side of this pocket, there's a few additional organizational options. So you have just kind of a slip pocket here. Here I just have a retractable HDMI cable. Uh, but this would be good for putting, you know, a mouse or a portable battery or anything, or even a hard drive. And as you can see, you know, I can almost fit my hand in there. So it's just a nice pocket um, to help add a little bit of extra organization. On top of that, this bag has a keychain loop, which I really like. Um, at the moment, I just have my Gerber shard on here. Um, the clip itself is pretty good. It's pretty easy to open and take things out on and off. I would have liked to have seen maybe a metal clip here, as I've seen with a lot of the Timbuktu and in-case bags I've reviewed recently. Uh, it might also be cool for a future version of this bag if you could actually maybe unclip this so that you didn't have to take your keys off the clip. But overall, I really like that this was included. I think it's always nice to have a place to just hold kind of accessories such as these or for your keys if you don't want to hold them in your pocket all day long. The other thing about this is that it's a little bit short, so you would actually have to remove whatever you're wanting to use from the clip so that you could access it and, and then have to put it back on. So I do like that some of the bags, such as the uh, Timbuktu Authority and Division Pack, the keychain is a little bit longer, so you can actually use the items without actually having to remove them from the clip. So, but that's just me being a little bit nitpicky. Overall, it's really nice that this was included and it works well. The, this pocket also has three pencil slash pen holders. So here I just have a pen. Uh, you can put a stylish in there. You can put another pencil. So just nice that it offers you a lot of variety in how you can organize everything. So moving on to kind of the main storage area, this is a really nice big pocket where you'll be able to put all the majority of the accessories that you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So again, with this pocket, I really like how the zipper comes really low so it doesn't quite open clamshell style but it does allow you to really open the bag wide and just kind of see everything that you have at once and so inside this pocket there is also a lot of organization that is really well thought out uh, i'll just start off with the flap on the flap it has one zipper pocket here and this is a pretty big pocket as you can see it starts off at about the middle and it goes all the way down so this is pretty spacious so at the moment i just have uh, an external hard drive in here um, but as you can see, you could fit a lot in here. You could probably put more portable batteries in here, a notebook, uh, even a small tablet. So just really nice that you have plenty of flexibility in how you can use that pocket. Uh, on the inside, I have a lot of the other items that I've used in all my daily bag videos. So as you can see here, I have my Beats Solo Wireless 2. I have my in-case accessory organizer pouch. I have my BagSmart cable organizer. I have this little Bluetooth speaker here that I've started carrying. This is really nice just to listen to music while I'm on the go, or it's even good for taking conference calls sometime if your phone speaker is pretty low. One thing I love about this bag, it holds one of my absolute favorite accessories. Now this is a Levitate portable standing desk. I actually did an in-depth review of this a few weeks ago, so I'll make sure to link to that in the description below. I absolutely love carrying this with me on a day-to-day -day basis for any day that I'm planning to do any work. It's really convenient to be able to work standing at a coffee shop or just from um, an office where I'm visiting. So this goes with me everywhere now. In addition, on the, po on the inside of this pocket, you'll find this kind of document sleeve. So um, in here, I just have my moleskin notebook, and I also have just a document, um, a, docu a folder to hold some documents. And what I really like about this document pocket is that it offers a little bit of padding, so it helps keep kind of your documents from getting too wrinkled. So 
as you can see, the document, the folder kind of comes up over the top a little bit, but this, this type of pocket is typically just like a piece of soft felt, but it feels like almost like it has a little bit of cardboard in it or something. So it's nice that it has just a little bit of rigidity to help keep things from getting wrinkled. So overall, really nice, flexible pocket. And the nicest thing is that you can just kind of ignore it if you don't want to use it, it lays down flat and you don't have to think about it. On the top, on the back side of the pocket, there's one more zippered mesh pocket that you can use for some additional accessories. So um, what I have here is just an extra pair of wired headphones. And then I actually put my GoPro in here as well. I don't carry that with me on a day-to-day -day basis usually, but I just honestly didn't have enough stuff to fill out all the pockets. So I just wanted to put some stuff in here to showcase what the, um, capacity of the pocket was like. As you can see, it's a pretty big pocket. It holds a lot. I really love, as I mentioned in the earlier pocket, I love when they're meshed so that you can see what's in them. And this pocket just allows you to kind of just keep everything a little bit more organized so that you don't have small things floating around and so that you can kind of give everything its own spot in this big compartment. Uh, another thing I really liked about this pocket is that because of this, because of the way it's laid out and how much space it actually offers, you can actually use this bag uh, to carry your gym clothes or even for a short weekend trip. So as you can see here in the footage, I actually put in the big packing cube that I typically use for um, longer trips. I just put that packing cube in there and I actually included my dop kit as well. And as you can see, I'm pretty much set to go for a short weekend trip. So it's just really nice that the bag offers that sort of flexibility. If you're a light packer, um, you can use it for that sort of thing. Or as I mentioned, you can use it to take gym clothes if you go to the gym from work or something like that. And overall, it just offers a lot of flexibility in how much stuff you can hold. And as I mentioned, it can hold a lot. So I really love this pocket and was very impressed overall. The last pocket we're going to be taking a look at is the laptop compartment. As I mentioned in the intro to the video, this backpack is actually designed to hold 17 inch laptops. So I know those are a little less common nowadays, but there are people that like the bigger screen, or I know a lot of gaming laptops in particular can be a little bit bulkier and bigger. Um, so it's really nice that this backpack actually allows you to hold a bigger laptop. But just starting off with the, with the interior of the pocket, the pocket itself is pretty big, so you could actually use this maybe to put a, a book or a folder or something like that. If it's really, if you filled out the main organizational compartment a lot, you may not have space to put something too bulky in here if you're going to put a laptop as well. But it is nice to have just a little bit more of an option if you want to just separate things out a little bit more. And then the, the back, this pocket includes a tablet sleeve. The sleeve is pretty padded, which is nice to see. I like, I, I don't like when a lot of backpack bags have like a little sleeve that's completely unpadded that is supposed to be a tablet sleeve. Um, so I really like that this is a little bit more padded. Um, as you can see here, I have my iPad mini two. And then I also just threw in my Kindle as well because it's such a big pocket. So um, if you have, you know, a bigger iPad, a full size iPad, I don't think the pro, the pro would fit in here, but it would come out over the top. So it wouldn't be fully protected. Um, the 12.9 inch iPad pro, but for the most part, this is going to fit most tablets very well. Um, and it's going to offer a good amount of protection. So that's really nice to see. The laptop pocket itself is also really great. As you can see here, uh, it's really big. Um, it, it comes out quite a bit. So if you have a thicker laptop, that's really nice that you're not going to have to worry about squeezing it into a really tight laptop sleeve. Um, so there's plenty of space for thicker laptops. The pocket itself comes up really high. I can definitely see how you could fit a 15 inch and a 17 inch laptop. Um, it has this kind of very nice uh, Velcro strap to help keep the laptop in place. Uh, the pocket itself is very padded. It's really nice that it also has this kind of softer felt lining to help prevent any scratching on the laptop. And the laptop pocket on the bottom is also elevated a little bit to help keep it safe from when you're placing it down on the ground or if you happen to drop it or anything like that. I currently have my 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro in here. As you can see, the pocket kind of swallows up the 13 inch laptop, so there's plenty of extra space. Uh, but overall, I was really impressed with how protected the laptop was. I really love how well implemented the pocket is. And as, and as I mentioned a few times, I can definitely confirm that, it, that, it'll, that it'll hold a bigger laptop very easily. So really love how well the laptop pocket was done and definitely feel like it's going to keep my electronics safe. Overall, I was super impressed with the Lenovo Passage backpack. It has tons of great features. It's a really well-rounded tech backpack. If you need something that's going to be able to hold a lot of stuff, but also look pretty sleek to wear around the city or to the office, but that's not going to be super, super bulky like some, some of those Swiss gear backpacks that you see a lot of college students walking around with, I definitely recommend checking out the Passage backpack. I was super impressed with how comfortable it was, how much organization it offered, and how well it protected everything. And so as I mentioned during the video, this bag is like a nice blend of a lot of the different bags that we reviewed on the channel. Uh, you can currently find it on Lenovo's website for about $80. So it's kind of in the middle of the spectrum as far as pricing. So it's a little bit more than some of the, you know, kind of budget tech bags that we've looked at that you can find on Amazon. So as I mentioned a few times during the video, this bag 
Reminds me a lot of bags such as the Le Packard Tech bag that I reviewed a while back on the channel, which is definitely more on the budget side of the pricing spectrum. You know, that bag was about $40. As I mentioned, this bag is 80, so it's a little bit more, but I definitely think this bag has a little bit more capacity and is a little bit better quality, so it's gonna last a little bit longer. It also reminds me a lot of bags such as the Timbuktu Authority bag, or even something like the Incase Icon Slim. You know, it's a very similar size and it offers similar organizational options, but it is a little bit cheaper than those bags. You know, the Incase bags typically at 100 or higher, as well as the Timbuktu bag. So it's nice that this bag has kind of a lot of the features that you can find on those higher end bags, but it's still about $80. So really great value overall and just really enjoyed using it. Uh, so I want to thank Lenovo again for sending over the Passage backpack for us to check out. And you know, I definitely recommend checking it out on the website. I'll include the link below to where you could buy the backpack. And um, I think it's just a great bag all around, really well rounded and holds a ton of stuff. And I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're looking for a great tech bag to just use around the city or to take to the office or even for a quick weekend trip. So if you guys found this review useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm.